this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string, cigar box, guitar. Yeah, um, plugged into my Vintage 47. I'm also using this uh, uh, Joyo Ultimate Drive. It's a, uh, it's a made in China overdrive pedal. I picked it up for 20 bucks. Um, I figured, what can I lose for $20? And uh, it's pretty nice. It's got, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. What can I tell you? It's a, uh, I think it's a Maxon 808 clone. And I've really got it on super light overdrive. The gain is, is really low. Um, so that's what it sounds like. But um, uh, a fan of the YouTube channel threw down the gauntlet and said, ask me how I do Mystery Train. And he's got a fancy way of picking it. And he said he can't get it to sound like a rock song. And, you know, um, I used to be in rockabilly bands. I know the song well. I used to cover it a lot. Um, uh, the way I do it is very unconventional because um, I can't pick. I, I kind of weave with my pick. So I will play it a different way, and I'll show you how I do it. And this is not the end-all and be-all. I mean, the Scotty Moore way of, of picking uh, a six-string guitar is is it. Um, if you need more information, Brian Setzer of the Stray Cats does another tremendous version of this. But this is how I play it, and it, I know it's a little unconventional, so I'll just say that right out of the gate. It's an unconventional way to play it. But um, this is how I cover it. I've got no reverb going on here. I'm going to mimic slap back using my pick. Songs in E, G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E is up here. E is also down here. It's got an A and a B. And that's it, okay? So I'm going to go back and forth like so. All right, so I'm just going to play a little bit of this thing and then I'll break down how I weave my pattern. slapback. Um, I don't need it, um, so I don't use it. Um, the way I weave this rhythm it's more a so start with this of a I tend to think if you clap you can find rhythms better that way so what I'm doing is is I'm here on E 
Um, and this is the ninth fret, okay? So you can see it by your dots. You know, you start here at zero, three, five, seven, nine. So I'm on nine. I use my pinky and my helper finger, and by now you've seen me do this. But the seventh, an E7 is really an E, a uh, B, and a uh, D. But I'm kind of playing both of these notes, and sometimes I'm not. I'm hitting this note, and I'm muting this one. So I'm... And I'm always coming up. And that's, that's my take on this rhythm. with a bass player and he usually gets all those other syncopated parts so I don't really have to play them um, I very rarely do this song solo just because it, it's so syncopated and has so many different parts to it um, but when I do that's the rhythm I play <laughs> down to A, I tend to hit the A note, then strum. Same with my B, I hit the B note, you know, and do a, that sort of thing. These rhythms, you know, really lend themselves to um, not just rock and roll, but many other genres, you know, where you can do things like that. So, you know, some things to practice is this, this type of raking. You're kind of raking the strings. And that's something just to practice and practice getting, putting your finger down and releasing again and muting. You know, you're going to find lots of songs do this rake and mute. And you're going to see, and you're going to find also all different manners of, of music. You know, and going from the, that E to that E7, I don't really have to play all of these notes. All I have to do is hit this, I'm coming up, and then I'm back. Learning how to come up and just hit those two notes, I am aiming for this note, and if I catch the D string, I'm lucky. An extra credit if you put your finger here and mute this. So that's another trick, uh, individual string muting, you know, is a really fun little trick to use. Hey. So I'm just hit, jangle, 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 hit, jangle, jangle, jangle. you can do with this um so uh train, train. just strumming hard down the track up to the B. Oh, my baby on Or a little harder here is playing this E inversion with your first finger on the E. 
and B and B, and then go to the A. Same rhythm. Just showing you different ways to uh, play this, you know, you can be up here. Um, something you can do with this song is go from your E, your B. Use those octaves, they're really easy to use. And down the neck with these octaves and find that path. You know, find your way. You know, find that path that works for you. Um, so this is just a lesson of how to fool around with a song and work on some different rhythm patterns. And for some, this is very advanced. For others, you're going to find this easier than you think. Dig in, give it a go. Um, what do you got to lose? It's Mystery Train. It's a beautiful song. Give it your interpretation. Um, I, I swear, if you try to be Scotty Moore, you're going to fail. There was only one Scotty Moore, uh, and he invented rockabilly. <laughs> That's it, hands down. So um, just uh, be aware of those, of those facts. These, these, these old timers were the best there ever was. Um, so I do have a donate link down below. It is a uh, paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. For you guys donating, you guys and gals out there, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Um, for those that are sharing on social media, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. For those of you not doing any of those things, thanks for subscribing. And just keep watching. Everything will click. And uh, we're all going to have a good time together. So uh, we'll see you another time. Bye.